do anything before. In the past, you would see you know, perhaps a handful of Israelis killed and hundreds of Palestinians killed. Now that equation has turned around substantially, and it shocked the Israelis, of course. Probably it shocked the world because really there was this myth that the Israeli military, the Israeli intelligence was such a well-developed capacity that they were invulnerable, they couldn't be beaten. And now there's, there's, I mean, of course, we have to recognize also that the Israeli regime itself is weakened internally because there have been big divisions in Israel. Uh, many of the liberals are unhappy with the Netanyahu-led government, for example. They have their own complaints about him dismantling the judiciary. So really the tables have turned in many respects in this particular conflict, which is ongoing, by the way. It hasn't stopped. It's been going on for three days. We, we can't see exactly um, what the... ...strikes in the Gaza Strip and initiated ground operations. How do you interpret Israel's response here? We still have to and have, uh, have to respond very strongly, very authoritatively, uh, to, the, to the current state. Uh, current state and uh, the, the world is facing very, very uh, a realization of this uh, attitude. Uh, we have to know that since we have a one hand, they suffer so much that the, the, the extent that they suffer uh, during the past uh, day 